Hey, my name is Alistair Cunningham, uh, and today I'm going to talk to you about how you can increase sales into your business. If you're not already, make sure you're getting subscribed, make sure you turn on notifications, that way you're never going to miss an upload. Listen, on this video, I'm going to talk to you about how you can explode your income into your business. I don't care what business you're in, whether you're a traditional bricks and mortar business with a shop front, whether you're a web business selling products or selling services, whether you're a coach, whether you're a consultant, you need to understand the principle of what I'm going to speak to you about now. Now you see, traditionally, selling was always seen as a bad thing. People are scared to sell. The reason why some of you struggle to sell is because you don't like being sold to. You cringe, you go, your, your guard goes up, you, you get all defensive. You take yourself out of the game because you're like, oh, he's selling now, so I'm going to switch off. Actually, you should turn that around and you should watch world-class salespeople and say, he's selling now, let me take notes because that can help your business. The reality is this, if you don't like being sold to, you will never be able to sell because you've already got a bad feeling about it. You've already got a bad sense of selling. And that might be from a past experience where people have sold to you and that was done incorrectly or that was done immorally. But the reality is sales can be ethical and can be fun and can be good for you. Because first you've got to understand, does, does your client need your product? As a business, do you provide a solution to your client's needs? Because the first rule of selling is understand what your client needs. Understand why they would come to you. I've heard a good friend of mine many times say this, I could sell ice to an Eskimo. And I'm like, why? Why would you want to send, sell ice to an Eskimo? He's around ice. He doesn't need to buy ice. Now the reality is this, you're selling the wrong product to the wrong person. So hence, you're always going to have your back up. When you master the art of selling and master the art of understanding your client's needs by offering a value first system, you will sell much, much more. Your income will explode. Focus on the value, not on the sale. Focus on how can you help them, not on how can I sell to them. Okay, so let's use me as an example. Value first, remember. So what do I do as value? I'll tell you and I'll show you. Remember, value first at all times. What do I do to offer value? So, the first thing I do, I've got two books, and these books are Whatever It Takes and The Six Figure Speaker. So I make sure that I've got two publications out there that people can get for free. That's free to the end user. All I ask is the end user contributes to the posters and packaging, so the cost to me is very little. Very little. But the value to the end user is incredibly high because I'm gifting them the book. They will learn lots from these books. They will be able to implement strategies from these books. And I've had so many people come to me after reading the book and say, Alistair, that was amazing. I loved the book. I've gone on and done this. Thank you to your book. I'm really happy for that because that creates raving reviews. Some of them clients that have bought my books have gone on to do one-to-one -one training with me. Some of them have gone on to join training programs that I offer and to buy into my business. Some of them have gone on to do joint ventures with me. So the book is value to my end user, my customer, but that value that I give away for free has created me hundreds of thousands of pounds in income, in joint ventures, and in revenue. So that book, which is value to the end user, and very low cost to me, has ended up creating me hundreds of thousands of pounds worth of income in joint venture finance. So books are a great way to create value for your customers. Now, what else can you do? Another thing that I've done very well is I've done this. You're watching it right now. I've created a YouTube channel that you can watch from, you can learn from, and you can educate yourself from. Again, it's of cost to me. I have to put it together. I have to edit it. I have to video it. And then I give it away completely free of charge to the end user. The reason I do that is it builds my brand because the more people that see me, the more I'm exposed, the more people will interact with me and do business because I'm creating value. It's all about value. How can you add value to your customer, your end user, your potential client? So another thing I do is I'm a public speaker. So I, I speak at lots of seminars. 
Now, for the people that attend, it's free of charge or very, very low cost, sometimes a pound. And what that means is for them, it's a low cost, low entry, but they get an immense amount of value over the day or over the two days or three days, however long that event's going on. And yes, some of them will come on and do some training. Some of them will invest. Some of them will buy into my business and some of them won't. That's absolutely fine. But for the end user, it's an immense amount of value. So let me ask you this question. What can you do of value to your customers? How can you add value to your customers so that you, you know and you honor the value first system? I even run a free training event about this. It's called the Six Figure Speaker Summit. If you wanna come, it's literally one pound for you to come. I'm gonna show you exactly how to maximize the value you offer to your clients. I'm gonna show you exactly how to position yourself. I'm gonna show you exactly how to sell to your clients. I'm gonna show you all the steps you need to be able to present your solution, your value to your leads. If you wanna come along, click below. There's a link, get registered. The tickets are one pound just one pound to come along and learn the skills of how to present, how to add value, and how to position yourself as an authority figure, adding value and understanding the value first system. Guys, my name's Alistair Cunningham. Make sure you tune in every single week, and I can't wait to see you at the event.